Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a game. Uh, contrary to what you might think, it's not really that hard to make it. It's actually uh, pretty easy if you know uh, the right formula. So by the end of the video, we're going to have a game basically like Breakout, where you can move this bottom thing from the left to the right. And yeah, so basically, what you're going to want to do is go to your internet browser and type in love2d.org and then you're going to get a bunch of download links. So if you're on Windows, you want to install one of the zipped ones, but I'm on a Mac, so I'm just going to install this one. And then you drag it to your desktop and unzip it. And then you get a little love.app or love.exe. And just double click it and if you're on a Mac you get something like this which you just uh, to get rid of that is you right click and then you click open and then it, you can bypass that and that's basically um, the, the way you're gonna make the game uh, so right now it says no game and in order to fix that is you basically just make a folder so you just right click and then you click new folder and you just name it whatever you want and the way, uh, so this is a game now, and the way you run it is basically by dragging it onto the executable. And right now it's not really anything, it's just an empty folder, so it gives you an error. The error says that you have to make sure that main.lua is at the top level of the folder, so it has to be in here. Uh, how do you make this file? Well, uh, there's two ways. Uh, it's different on Mac and Windows. On Mac, you go to the spotlight here and you type text edit and then you click new document and then you get something that looks like this. And then you go to format, make plain text, and then you go to file, save, and then you navigate to wherever your game is and then you uh, change it to main.lua and you hit save. And then when you drag it on there, it'll just be a black screen at that point because uh, you know the file is empty. If you're on Windows, it's basically the same principle. You uh, you go to your Start menu, and you search for Notepad here, and you just open that. Uh, same thing for Windows 10, basically the same thing. I actually have a Notepad on my computer, and uh, here, so here it is. And basically, you just do the same thing. You go to File, Save As, and then you navigate to your Game folder. And then you change the file type to all files, and then you type main.lua and hit save. And same thing. So you got a main.lua in here now, and then you just drag it over, and I have a black screen. So, um, so cool. You basically, you know, you have this. Um, this is basically where you're going to be writing the game, and then you pretty much test it by dragging it onto here and seeing what happens. And uh, what I'm going to do is basically just uh, have uh, copy paste stuff because that's a lot easier than uh, actually writing anything. So you just go on the Love 2D website and then you kind of scroll down and you'll see that there's a couple examples. And basically, just uh, copy paste them right into your uh, notepad or uh, text edit. And then you go to save and it says hello world. And you know you can do it with the next one. Copy, paste, and drag it on. And it says uh, could not open file whale.png does not exist. So I'm just gonna get a random picture. So I'm just gonna you know, take a download. Look for a picture of a whale. That's a good one. I don't want it to be that big though. But I'll just use this one. And then save image as. And then uh, go to desktop game and whale. Uh, dot. Can you change it? No, okay, so it has to be JPEG. So I'm just going to change this to JPG instead and go to save and 
you'll see there's a picture of a whale in here. You just drag it on, and then you got a picture of a whale kind of cut off a little bit. Um, but yeah, so um, at this point, you know, what do you do now? So you copy paste these two things. Now it's going to get hard, right? Well, not really. You can still kind of skirt your way around it by going onto the forum and trying to find stuff to copy paste. So uh, I think the game and creations forum is pretty good. And uh, I saw a thread, this one. Uh, these are like really simple games you can kind of just copy paste into here. And uh, there is one, this is the one I just showed you at the beginning, the breakout one. Uh, I'll put a link to this. And you just basically highlight all of that and copy and then paste and then save it and then drag it on and then boom this is the game and what's cool about this uh and instead of uh like you know making it from scratch is like the whole thing is made out for you and then you know it works and you can kind of like you know probably this looks like gibberish but you can kind of like, um, you can kind of get an idea of what this kind of stuff does, right? Like, you know, there's a five here, there's like a plus here, you know, you're adding stuff together. Um, so uh, for instance, there's like a, if X is less than zero, then uh, DX equals the absolute value, I think. So, you know, you can just kind of mess around with this and maybe you can like multiply it by 10 and then save it kind of run it again and see what happens. If you notice, every time it hits the left wall, it kind of just goes crazy. It kind of went like super fast. Uh, maybe, maybe make it a little bit slower. So now there's like a really marked change, right? It kind of hits the wall and then like goes super fast. And yeah, you know, you can kind of just build on top of this. Um, so for instance, like let's say you want to change, you know, maybe change this to a circle or something, right? See what happens instead of a rectangle. And it, you know, it looks kind of weird, but it, it works. You know, it's kind of cool. So maybe change it to like a square. And then that one didn't work. So you got to change it back to the way it was before. So yeah, basically the idea is you want to, you know, you want to make this as, as uh, fun as possible. You don't want it to, you know, because when it starts to get boring, you know, when you start have to like learn a bunch of like if then or like while loops or whatever, and then you kind of just start to lose motivation. So it helps to kind of start small and then kind of build yourself up from there. Um, so uh, one more thing. I'd want to show you is uh, the wiki and so this this is kind of like the more legit uh, way to make these kinds of games it's like you you start from scratch and then you kind of use all of these functions over here and you kind of read like all of these articles to kind of like understand exactly what's going on um, but once you get to a certain point you can kind of just go like so for example I want to change the color of the rectangles to red so I'm going to go uh, look in love.graphics and I'm just going to search so color and there's like just keep hitting enter until I see something I like so background color get color get color mask get color mode set color so that looks like what I want so then you just copy this code in and you can read this if you want if you want a better understanding you just you know, paste it um, so I'm guessing that it draws a rectangle here so I'm just going to paste the set color right here. I'm going to save it and then run it. And then it says bad argument number one to set color number expected got nil. So uh, the first argument I'm guessing is red. So you got to just set it to a number. So I'm going to put it as 100 and save and try to run it again. And then number two this time. So I got to set green and blue probably. And then boom, now it's not white, it's kind of a grayish color. So it works now. So now you can kind of just mess around with these values. So maybe just make 
this one 10 or something and then kind of reload it and then now it's like a dark purple and we can make this one 10. And then now it's like a dark red, so maybe we would change this to like 200 or something instead of 100. And then now it's, you know, it's an actual kind of red. And yeah, that's, that's basically the idea is you just kind of try stuff and then if it doesn't work, you kind of try to figure out why. You want to, you know, it's baby steps. So I hope this uh, kind of motivates you so like you can actually start, you know, doing stuff now in the, in the next, uh, of these I'm probably gonna go more in depth on how the wiki works and how the form works and that kind of stuff. So yeah, good luck.